Hi, I'm Elizabeth Chapels. I've been teaching at St. Gilbert for over 20 years, I believe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, second grade is a great year. I'm happy to be here. Every year is very exciting as the kids start making a transition from learning to read to reading to learn. And so we do that through the use of Super Kids program, which is fabulous. And with the Super Kids program, we have a reader that the kids participate in uh, reading stories about the Super Kids who become like friends to the to the kids. <laughs> they talk about the characters, tick, tack, talk, like they're people they know. And so they've been doing that since kindergarten. They love them. And then we also have the Super Kids Word Workbook where we work on different skills, including phonics, um, grammar, language, um, phonetic awareness. Um, then we've got Super Magazine. We have several Super Magazines that we use throughout the year. And these are really wonderful because they have fabulous photos and wonderful um, nonfiction articles. So we work on things like main idea and details and um, cause and effect. Uh, in addition to all of that kind of reading, we also read novels throughout the year. So we've got a section of novels here and we work through reading a novel and talking about the characters and the development and the plot. So uh, we hit reading from a lot of different angles and the kids really grow a tremendous amount and love it. Then um, for science, we're using, using science fusion. We start out by learning to think like a scientist um, using the um, scientific method. Then we learn about engineering and the design process. And from there we move on to learning about animals um, and their uh, adaptations as well as plants and their adaptations and how our world changes. Some of these changes can be very slow, like erosion, and how there can be sudden changes to the environment, like um, forest fires or avalanches. Um, so the kids get a lot of great detail in here. Again, this is nonfiction reading uh, with beautiful photos that help the kids really understand and learn about science and be interested in it. So that's just a few of the things we do in second grade. Thanks. Hi, welcome to my classroom. I'm Lisa Draper. I am a second grade teacher here at St. Gilbert School. I'm working in my 17th year um, as a second grade teacher. So I just wanted to show you, give you a little snapshot look at our math program and our social studies program for second grade. And what it, what it boils down to in math is we start with the fundamentals. Um, we're looking at math facts. Um, we explore math facts um, using flash, flashcards, um, using manipulatives. And I pulled some things out. Um, and also using a digital platform, um, Rocket Math on their iPads. And iReady Math is a great new program we're using to solidify their math facts. But just adding those one digit numbers together. Of course, we have the old school flashcards when needed, um, but then there's other strategies using um, these um, 10 frames to um, learn how to make tens. Um, Unifix cubes, always a great skill, adding uh, the two different colors together. Just looking at different um, uh, modalities and um, securing those math facts. Even the um, dominoes are always a fun game to play, so I always try to um, make the learning math facts fun. Game-wise, using dice, any kind of um, board game um, where we're adding or subtracting numbers. Um, and so that provides a foundation as we move into um, uh, adding two-digit numbers and three-digit numbers and then subtracting the same two-digit numbers and three-digit number subtraction. Um, we move forward into learning about number patterns. Again, we can use the, the cubes looking at patterns. We can use skip counting. Um, I have this um, Nice dry erase board system that has the um, hundreds chart, so um, we can skip count using the hundreds chart, using songs, using games, um, using dry erase markers, and just highlighting the different the counts of twos, fives, and tens. Whatever um, works for the students. Um, they all have different ways of learning that's best for them. So I try to do hands-on things or visual things. Um, and then knowing that there's patterns and numbers like odd and even numbers even, uh, we're currently working on, we, we finished two-digit addition already um, and subtraction, and now we're looking at place value. So I like to use the hundreds, tens, and ones place value blocks as manipulatives. Um, again, more visual, more tactile learning, um, 
And then uh, I also like to use other games, um, cards. Um, anything that involves um, adding or subtracting numbers. There's probably 100 different card games that children can do that I like to do in the classroom. Um, board games um, for, for the addition and subtraction. And so once we get a good foundation, they're able to um, be more fluent in the, just those single digit math facts. They're able to work on two digit addition, two digit subtraction, and then the three digit version of that. Um, so later in the year, we work on other strands of math then. Um, besides the number system, there's um, graphing. And so I like to um, pull out my graphing games. Um, we learn about bar graphing line graphing, um, line plots, picture graphs, um, and then we move into coins, learning about money. So again, adding and subtracting different amounts of money, using the manipulatives, um, and then understanding fractions and the um, three-dimensional shapes, two-dimensional shapes, um, and then um, looking at having the, the squares. So looking at fractions with shapes and um, knowing that oh, there are different parts to a whole. Um, so that's, oh, and also measuring. Um, so there's a whole measurement side, um, telling time. Again, all that involves numbers in a different way. And measuring with um, our rulers, the metric and the standard form, um, with yardsticks and um, meter sticks thrown in. So um, we're always learning about numbers and using numbers in a different way. And I always like to throw in uh, small group work, and learning games and the digital format where they're online learning as well. Um, and then the other um, topic I wanted to talk to you about was um, social studies. And um, social studies, we have a new um, program and it utilizes magazine-based learning. And there's an online format to this too, which um, is really helpful, um, kind of changes things up a little bit with the lessons. Um, but what's nice is there, each magazine is a different strand of social studies. So elections, leaders in government, mapping, so this one's called location. And it's a real easy to use magazine and the kids love it, they can write in it, they can read along. Um, now, right, currently we're learning about North America, so all the countries involved in that and um, mapping skills within this too. Um, and later on in the year, we'll learn about um, family histories and culture. Again, all magazine based. And, um, and these are all consumable magazines and heroes and um, consumers and producers, why people work um, and how, and it also goes into buying and spending um, along with um, um, the consumers and producers part of it. Where does our food come from? Uh, from farm to table. So a lot of interesting topics and real world topics. So that's um, what I wanted to share with you in this little snapshot of what we're doing in second grade with math and social studies. Thanks for visiting my classroom.